On first glance, businesses in the 19th century looked to be pretty much run by men only. On closer examination, though, women played many roles in business and commerce. In the second quarter of the century, the small but rapidly growing city of Rochester was home to female laundresses, seamstresses, tailors, shoe binders, teachers, boarding house owners, and tavern and storekeepers. Even if a man was the legal owner of a business, its day-to-day -day running would often be handled by a woman. For example, at Thompson's Tavern, Mrs. Lucy Thompson would have greeted guests, managed operations, and kept the books while Mr. Thompson tended the family farm. According to Genesee Valley Business Directories, for the first part of the 19th century, a number of women owned stores that sold dry or fancy goods. In her book, The Employments of Women, writer Virginia Penny noted, Woman has a power of adaptedness that fits her admirably for the vocation of a merchant. Such articles as they purchase and keep on hand will be likely to find sale. The taste of the best keepers of dry goods and fancy stores, millinery establishments, and embroidery shops will be displayed in the dress of their patrons.